Hello friends, how are you all? Hope so all you are fit and fine. So now I once again I, I am here Yota Pasa to continue your English fun grammar class and today the topic is about preposition. So first of all we should know about preposition and before that I would like to remind you what till now we have completed. We have completed noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb. About them one by one I have completed all the classes. Hope so you have got then after and uh, links are also I have given if you want to watch them once again. So let's start to know about preposition. So what is preposition? So first of all let me remind you that preposition is a word that makes connection of a noun or a pronoun and with the other words in a sentence that means it shows the relationship let me give you one example from here we can get its meaning about the relationship okay and the uh, and the other word means what other means means noun verb adjective so now in the picture you can see a cat has come and it is sitting under the table so the word under with this word i am showing the link between the cat and the table okay so the cat is the noun in the sentence and the table is the other word suppose you have not written the word under so without the word under you can't express the complete clear meaning and the relation between the cat and table so for that reason you need the word under so under is an example of preposition in this particular given example understood now let's go for the other now we are going to know about the types of preposition and it depends on three conditions so let's know what the conditions are conditions are number one when then where and last but not the least that is in which direction okay so the preposition that shows us time it's called the preposition that depends on time so it is called preposition of time so let's know about them but beside this i would like to give you one example in on at before after these are the example of preposition of time okay now let me give you one example for example my birthday falls in january here the word in is suggesting when my birthday is so in is example of preposition of time another example my vacation ends on monday when my vacation will end answer on monday so on is an example of preposition of time in this two given example now let's say example it gets cold at night when it gets cold answer at night so in this three example in on at these are the example of preposition on of time hope so you have understood now we are going to know more about the second one that is the preposition that deals with the place or location so for that reason its name is preposition of place now let me give you one other example for this that is the under above in on at now you might be confused that when in the preposition of time in on at that these are the preposition of time and in on at these are once again the preposition of place let me inform you my friends these are depends on the location and the its uses for example the books are on the table in this sentence we have used the preposition on to show the position of the books where are the books answer these are on the table now let me give you an example the plane is just below cloud where is the plane answer just below so in this example below it has been used as an example of preposition of place so from these two example hope so you have understood now number three that is the in which direction the preposition that shows direction okay so let me give you some other examples for preposition of directions so examples can be like this to into of from so from some examples it will be very clear to us 
let me show you some example we went to london last week okay so we went to london it's showing the direction towards where i went answer to london he went up the hill where did he go answer up to the hill so up is an example of preposition of direction so these two examples are the example of preposition of direction now let's go to know something another term related to preposition what is that so let's move to that that is prepositional phrase so the question should come in your mind what is phrase and i have already taken the class on phrase and clause phrase is a group of word and prepositional phrase is that type of phrase where one preposition is there that's it so example the rapid hop through the garden here you can see through the garden in this phrase one preposition through is there for that reason it is an example of prepositional phrase for example the balloon the balloon drifted up the stairs in this phrase you can see one preposition up is here for that reason this is an example of prepositional phrase and now let me give you another example more the tiger crept slowly over the grass in this example over the grass it is a phrase the phrase is containing the preposition over so the these three examples are containing one one preposition for that reason these three are example of prepositional phrase hope so my friends everything is clear to you so now let's take a review we have come to know about the preposition what is preposition it is a word that makes relationship with the other words then after we have come to know the types of preposition the types of prepositions are depend they depend on the three condition number 1 when the preposition that shows the preposition of time number 2 the preposition that shows the relation uh, relates to place that is preposition of place then after we have come to know the preposition that shows direction that means the preposition of direction then after we have come to know prepositional phrase the phrase that contains a preposition with itself now the time is there to take leave from you be happy and be healthy stay at home tata bye bye